Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Zatik. I once again welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Today I am going to discuss about jump statements in Java. Okay, what is the meaning of jump statement and why we will use it in our, in our Java program? Dear students, my dear friends, the main purpose of using these jump statements is to alter the execution of our Java program. If we want to move the control from one position to another position in our Java program, then we can make use of this jump statements. Okay, Java supports three types of jump statements, break, continue and return. So the purpose of today's session is I am going to clearly differentiate the working of break, continue and return along with syntax and example programs. So watch the entire video without skipping a single 2 to 3 second part also otherwise you are going to miss very important information. Okay. So dear students let us start with the working of first jump statement which is break. Okay. How to use this break keyword in our Java program and what does it will do? So first of all the syntax of using break keyword is in small letters type the keyword break and put semicolon that's all. This is the way you, we can make use of this break keyword first jump statement. Now in our previous part of iteration statements already I told about these programs that how we can display a set of numbers sequence of numbers by making use of iteration statements while do while for we have discussed. Now the same program similar program by making use of for loop I want to display 1 to 5 numbers. How many numbers? 1 to 5 numbers. Okay. So I want the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 numbers. Now that program I have written here. So what it will do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 5 numbers it will display. For 6th number the condition will become false. Control will come out of the for loop and we will get only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. Now in this program I can make use of break keyword. How I can make use of break, break keyword? Let us see now. So a small modification I am doing in this program. I am adding one more thing here. I am adding if also here, if statement, if the value of i becomes 3, if i is equal to 3, this is a is equal to operator, if i is equal to 3, then what I am doing, break, okay. Now what happened, let us see, now what output we will get, let us see, first starting value is i, i starting value of i is 1, 1 less than or equal to 5, condition true, false, true, so control will enter into this body of the for loop 1 is equal to 3 if 1 is equal to 3 means false so control will go to system dot out dot print ln 1 will display okay next from here control will go to i plus plus 1 plus plus 2 2 less than or equal to 5 condition true control will enter into if if 2 is equal to 3 false so control will not go to break control will enter into system dot dot system dot out dot print ln 2 will display Again control will go to incrementation 2 plus plus 3, 3 less than or equal to 5, condition true. Now control will enter into if, if 3 is equal to 3, now here condition is getting true here. This condition is already, already got true. If 3 is equal to 3, this condition is also getting true, control will enter into break. What break keyword will do? It will take the control out of the for loop. Then we will get output as only 1 and 2 that's all we will not get 3 4 5 why we will not get 3 4 5 as the output the reason is when the value of i became 3 automatically break keyword takes the control out of the loop this is the use of break keyword in our java program what is the use of break keyword it is used to exit from a loop here actually the loop will loop should repeat 5 times but remaining three times the control has not went inside the loop the reason behind this is break keyword has taken the control out of the loop forcefully is it right or not so this is how break keyword will work what is the first what is the main important use of break keyword in our java program the purpose of break keyword is to exit from the loop so here the control is getting jump from this place to outside of the loop that's why we are calling this break as a jump statement Okay, I believe that you people got a clear picture now about the usage of break. Okay, and one more where in one in one more place also we, we will use break keyword. Already we have used also. You know where in switch. 
in switch also to terminate the statement sequence sequence of statements there also we will use the break keyword so you know that in the name itself jump statement means taking control from one position to another position so here also it is doing the same thing okay now how you will save this java program now to see the output to, what is the name of the class here in which which contains main method break one so you need to save your java program with this name break one dot java okay now let us come back to this let us go to the second type of jump statement which is continue okay what is the name of the jump statement continue sir what is the syntax to use this continue sir so use the keyword continue semicolon same similar syntax compared to break okay now in this program also i want to display one to five numbers only one to five numbers only i want to display in this program but small change i am doing here here also what i am doing means if i is equal to here what i am writing same three same thing i am writing if i is equal to three instead of break keyword what i am doing here continue so instead of break keyword which what i have written continue now sir can you tell the out how it will work now what is the job of continue keyword what it will do let us see i value is one one less than or equal to five condition true so control will enter into if now i one is equal to three means false so one will display next one plus plus two two less than or equal to five condition true here condition will become false two will display next two plus plus three three less than or equal to five condition true now if three is equal to three condition true so when, once the condition is true control will enter into continue from continue where the control will go it will not go outside the loop like break from continue control will go to next incrementation so here the value of i is 3 so it will go and increment the value of i which is 3 plus plus 3 plus plus means 4 4 less than or equal to 5 condition true it will become false 4 will display similarly 5 will display and once the value will become 6, control will come out of the loop because 6 less than or equal to 5 means condition will become false. So, dear students, you can see that one number has not displayed in the sequence. You know which number 3 has not displayed in the sequence. What is the main reason behind this? Because when the value of i is 3, condition became true. Once the condition became true, where the control has went, you know, it went to continue keyword. This continue keyword will take the control to the next iteration. Instead of going to the, instead of displaying the output, the control will go to the next iteration. It will skip displaying the value of 3. This is the purpose of continue keyword. Break keyword will take the control out of the loop. Continue keyword will take the control to the next iteration. So, this is second type of jump statement. And how you are going to save this Java program now with the name continue one dot Java. So like this you are going to save this second program in your computer and you are going to compile and execute this program to see this output. Is it right? Now the last type of jump statements which our Java supports is a return. And how to use this uh, return keyword in our Java program? similar syntax return semicolon that's all okay now let us say i have written one java program now let us let me show you the working of return now how the return keyword will work here i have used one data type name boolean we know that a boolean data type in if a variable belongs to boolean data type you know what is the name of the variable here t then you can only store two values in a boolean data type variable what are those two values one is true another one is false Nothing other than this true and false, you can't store any other value, otherwise you will get error. So that's why in the boolean variable t, I have stored a value true. Which value? True. Now immediately we will get this output. Which output? Before return will display and after return also will display. These are the two lines that will come as the output. Before return, after return. But what I am doing, you know, I am doing one small change here. What is that? if t t means true 
return now now tell me what is the expected output or output of this program before return will display as it is before return before return will display as it is now after displaying before return control will come here if of t what is the value of t true so condition will become true control will enter into return what the return keyword will do you know it will take the control to the caller main method and your program will close control will not come to the next line at all control directly will go to the caller main is our caller here that's why control will go to the main and our program will close suppose if if we won't write these two lines you know what happened control will display this after return also so the purpose of return keyword is it will take the control to the caller who is the caller here main method is the caller this is how the return keyword will do now return keyword will work now if we see all these three types of jump statements we got one clarity that these statements are used to change the order of execution of the statements if we want to change the order of the execution of statement then we can make use of break continue and return keywords okay so dear student dear students i believe that you people have got a clear picture about this three types of jump statements in our java so one question to you now just to put your answer in the comment who is the developer of our java programming language i want the main developer name so simply put the answer in the comment section so if you get my heart then the answer is absolutely correct i am going to give a like as well as the heart for the student who will give the correct answer so what is my question today's question is who is the developer of our java programming language so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah hafiz